So today we're continuing our discussion of two quantitative variables. We've talked about how you can measure or look at how strong or weak a relationship is between them. We looked at just using a scatter plot though to gauge subjectively how tight or loose the pattern is between two quantitative variables. Today we're going to talk about a measurement called the correlation coefficient that will measure not only strength but also the direction of the linear relationship between two quantitative variables. So when we think about a correlation coefficient, the notation or symbol we use to represent it is going to be the lowercase r. Correlation coefficients have five rules connected to them. So the first rule or thing that's necessary for a correlation coefficient is it has to be between the two values negative one and positive one. So a correlation coefficient or r will always be between negative one and positive one. A second rule is the sign of R is going to indicate strength, or excuse me, direction. So we talked about when we looked at scatter plots, what, which was a graphical display of two quantitative variables, how you can have either a positive or negative association, meaning as X increases what happens to Y. The sign of R will also give you an indication of the type of association you have. So if you have a negative R, you have a negative association or you would notice that in a scatter plot. The magnitude of R is going to indicate strength. So that means that if you were to take the absolute value of R, the closer it is to 1, the stronger the relationship is. So sign doesn't have to do with the strength. Sign only indicates the type of association. The magnitude or the absolute value being closer to 1 would make it a stronger relationship. The fourth thing that you should realize about a correlation coefficient or R is if you have an R of negative 1 or an R of positive 1, you have a perfect linear relationship. So if I were to show you up top here what that would look like, if I have two different scatter plots, this one these dots fall perfectly onto a line, but it's a negative association. So my correlation coefficient would be negative one. It's a perfect linear relationship, but it's negative because as X increases, Y is decreasing. Here, this would be a perfect linear relationship, but it would be given a positive one because as X is increasing, Y is also increasing. So you can see that they have the same strength. They're all perfectly falling onto a line. So they have that one, but this is negative because it's a negative association. That's positive because it has a positive association. So considering an R equal to zero, that would indicate no linear relationship. So as X increases, Y is not changing. So when you are looking at a scatter plot, the tighter or looser pattern is going to coincide with your correlation coefficient. So the tighter the pattern is, the closer that your correlation coefficient would be to 1. The looser the pattern is, the closer that correlation coefficient would be to 0.